Hey there, it's Linda. I'm walking today in a park in Mazatlan. It's a beautiful park. It's right next to my apartment building. And I wanted to just share a couple of things. Today is December 19th, I think. <laughs> I can't remember the date. <laughs> Anyways, it's Saturday. Uh, and I'm walking out. I'm not wearing my mask. Although there are people who are wearing masks. When you go into, you know, the church, for example, people are wearing their masks. But it's such a, a different experience than what my friends are going through in Canada. Now I have friends in Ottawa and I have friends in Sudbury, all in the province of Ontario. And they're all telling me that things are really bad there. The cases are going up. And you know, I know that um, people now have to, or at least in Quebec, uh, the government workers have to go back to work from home and hearing that news kind of uh, worries me and concerns me for the people that are in Mexico, uh, in Canada. But over here, for some reason, I can't explain it. Um, I don't experience that. I'm not experiencing that now. And I, I think it's partly because cases where I'm where I'm at right now in Mazatlan are fairly low so I was talking to a friend today and she asked me if I was coming back and she was a little bit frantic I said coming back what are you talking about coming back no I like I wasn't even thinking of coming back or planning on coming back until my stated date so far in in uh, in April but you see s situations in different parts of the world are very very different than what you might be experiencing like right now people are going to church I see them carrying bags and boxes and they're all going to church so I don't know if there's a funeral going on I'm not sure that's the church They're wearing their masks. I think, you know, where, where I am right now, it's fairly safe for me to, to stay. And I think it's better off for me to stay here than actually go back to Canada. People are still, like, you know, I, there's another lady walking across the street there. They're not wearing their masks. And it could be for different reasons. It's going to be a little, little bit noisy here. I think partly because the cases aren't at high, as high. And I think for another reason is we know we need to wear masks when we go into stores, grocery stores, the tiendas, like corner stores. But other than that, or buses, I had to wear a, a mask inside the bus today too. So that continues. But there's no fear, there's no apparent fear that things are going to get worse. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but for me right now, it's a good thing. Because all I need, my, my Christmas is already going to be very different this year. I'm already feeling a little bit of sadness because I'm not going to be spending it with my family. And it's, you know, it's a completely different experience. Not not having any snow and it's just really strange uh, I won't get into it on in this video so the fact that I'm here uh, able to walk outside and at least enjoy the weather went out for a nice breakfast this morning with some friends too the fact that I can do that is a blessing it's a blessing uh, and so just for you out there if you're considering traveling 
I guess it does depend on where you want to go and what the restrictions are in that particular country. I know for here, if you want to go to Mexico from Canada, I, I think now there are different restrictions going from Canada to somewhere else. Uh, but a couple of weeks ago, or actually it's been a month now, November 17th is when I got here, I needed to prove that, you know, I had the, the vaccine. Uh, but that's it. I didn't have to do anything else like to get into the country. I didn't have to go through any COVID tests or any uh, any other type of testing. So that was pretty good for me. I think it's going to be different when I go back to Canada, but I won't worry about that now. I noticed that the things of guidelines have changed but what I've decided to do is <laughs> because you know what things have changed so much even in the last few weeks last few months I'm not gonna bother reading anything related to traveling advisories until it gets closer to my traveling time which is going to be in April sometime four months so many things can change in four months. Maybe there's going to be another variant. Maybe there'll be a, a fourth vaccine. Who knows? Who knows? But I know that I'm safe here and I feel safer here. And uh, I wish you well. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And that you're not too, that you don't feel too confined. Uh, that you do feel that you're able to, uh, to move around, to walk around, to spend some time with family and friends. Have yourself a great day and I'll probably do another video related to Christmas later. Bye now.